Hey guys, so today's video is one of those that's going to be a little more art focused for the day because I'm planning out a sculpture because I got Jazza's Ultimate Creativity Collection and one of the boxes is a sculpture box and I've just been itching to try sculpting something and so I'm looking at the materials and trying to figure out what I could do. I've been researching all the materials and watching videos on how to use them because there's no, there are no instructions on these things and so I had to figure it out and see what they were actually for. Like I had no idea this was a reusable clay that is mostly used for sculpting things that are not final projects, but you could do that if you wanted to. This cost clay is a very springy, bendy clay when it's dry. So I looked up videos about what that's like, and I also watched Jazza's videos of him comparing the two clays and stuff. And then Sculpey I'm already familiar with, so I know how this stuff works. I also wanted to know the baking instructions for this, because I wanted to know if this could be used in conjunction with the Sculpey. I think it could. Like, I wouldn't mix them together, but just maybe for separate parts of a project. <laughs> yeah, I've just been looking into stuff like that. I think I primarily want to work with this stuff. I just like the idea of it not cracking when it's dry because I've had so many sculptures, not so many, I act like I sculpted a bunch. I've had sculptures in the past that just crack after the fact, especially anything that has armature. I've had stuff crack over time and split and break. And so I think it would just be nice to use that cost clay. So the plan is to work on the sketch of the idea today and then I can go ahead and start on the sculpture once it's all planned out. So before we dive into the sketching, I just wanted to mention that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where they have thousands upon thousands of classes on all kinds of creative subjects. You can learn about things like character design, animation, painting, all sorts of creative topics. They even have videos on running a business, doing social media, and videography, photography, all kinds of stuff. The length of these classes varies, but a lot of them are very short and easily digestible, and they're broken down into sections so you can hop back in if you decide to take a break. Certain classes have assignments you can do if you like. You can submit them to get feedback from your instructor and you can see comments from other students and interact that way. So it truly is an interactive community. A class I've been watching lately is Narrative Art, Drawing Imaginary Characters by Ira Marks. This one is really good. It brought me right back to my animation days because it's a lot of similar stuff I learned in animation school in terms of drawing. Things like squash and stretch, character appeal, believability, staging characters. That class is really well done, so I recommend you check it out. Skillshare is also very affordable. Their premium membership runs you less than $10 a month for the annual plan. And the first 1,000 people to use my link in the video description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. So, might as well check it out. And thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring my channel again. It's seriously such a blessing to have a long-term sponsor like this, so thank you so much Skillshare. So I mentioned before how I was looking into the different clay types and I'm really interested in the cost clay. Now I don't have the hugest quantity of this. There is a nice big chunk of the monster clay, but I'm, I'm really interested in this, so I wanna create something using this, and I might dip into the Sculpey if I need to, but I was trying to think of what something small-ish I could make or something that just involves less clay, and then I started thinking of a sculpture class I once took. I did three sculptures in that class. There was a, a face that was just on a piece of wood and it was half the face so just like the front half sculpted and then I did a full body figure and then did just a detailed head of that same character. The first one was just like a generic face but the second and third ones were specific characters. So I'm thinking back to that first face I did where it was just half the face on a block of wood and I have little pieces of wood. So I could do something like that where there's maybe a face in there somewhere, make it a character kind of similar to maybe something I would do in my illustrations and also decorate around it. So I guess first step is to see what wood blocks I have. I bought those so long ago. Do you remember that little blue bear wooden drawing I did? This one, I got so excited about this. I bought a whole bunch of wood. Oh, I did another one that was bigger than this and it was Rapunzel. I don't have that one here because I gave it to a friend who really likes Rapunzel. But uh, yeah, I, I did only those two drawings and they're both pencil crayon on wood. So that's all I ever did with these little wooden pieces and it's time to use more. It's time to use more of them. So, da, 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 da. 
This is the only big one I have. This one here. It's a rectangle with the cut corners. I have some little square ones. That one's kind of the same as this one, but smaller. And I have one round one, it looks like. I could do something super tiny on these ones, but I think I'm going to go with the bigger wooden block. Just so I have a little more space to work with. So I'm not officially using these tools today. Today is just the planning day, but I needed to take a look at these to figure things out. I'm not going to need the armature wire for this either. But what I'm going to do is take the sketchbook and I can trace this to help me plan it a bit better, maybe. This is that render sketchbook that I recently got. I have just this one doodle page in it. I think I'm going to trace this right in the middle of the page and I can have, can have notes and other little info around it. Like planning for the colors and all that good stuff. Plus I got to remember that there is this inner ledge here too. Roughly about like this. Now before I dive straight into that I might want to do some little thumbnails. I just know I want a head and some kind of decorations around it. Is it going to be themed in any way? Like Christmas themed or winter themed or just cute? I feel like I definitely need to get some pastel in there because, you know, I, I branched out with my last art and did something non-pastel, so I think it's kind of time to go back to pastel. <laughs> How high is the head on this? Is it in the middle and there's something up on top of her head? Or is her head higher up, almost like a portrait? Then we would see more of the bust. I mean, it doesn't have to, I guess. It can be just the face sort of poking through. I feel like I want something serene, maybe eyes closed. How cartoony am I doing it? Am I making it how I normally draw my art? Like, I guess I would make the most sense. <laughs> Same style as I draw in, but sculpture version. Could have some kind of crown. Well, maybe I want the head, huh? I don't know. I'm thinking, do I want the head bigger? This is why we do the little thumbnails. Well, no, but I still want details around her and I gotta keep in mind, hmm. Like, let's say I sculpt details to stick onto here. Are they gonna be on this very edge? Probably. I mean, some things might trickle onto the top. I don't know how much of this bevel we'll end up seeing in the end. Are you here to be a stage five clinger again? Yes, yes, she is. You've been clinging all day so far today, Kiki. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to take a nap or anything? No, she wants pets. Oh, really? Small child. That is exactly where I was drawing. How about you come lay up here? Poor small baby. Anyway, she could maybe have some kind of crown on her or something. I just feel like the top of the head needs a little something. So is the neck just going to fade into this. I mean, there could almost be a cut across, a shape across the neck, like the neckline of a shirt. Is it going to be weird though if you can only see the front half of the crown? I guess it would just look more like a tiara of sorts. I do want to include gemstones in this possibly. I have little gemstones that are for nail art and I was thinking of including those on this, so that could be pretty good. Maybe something where the hair is sleek up top and then goes curly. I'm trying to think girly, lacy, maybe like soft pinks and gold. Because there could be a lace pattern painted around here. Wow, I'm really <laughs> going to hate myself if I do that. I mean, I could use a Posca pen maybe. Ooh, how 3D do I want to do this? I could have like a little thread with beads on it that connect to the points of the crown. So it's like not sculpted, but actually, I mean, it could be sculpted, but like real beads hanging there. I could make the crown so that it's got its three really tall points, but then maybe a little loop there just so I can tie it. And I could even cover that loop with the gem if I want to hide the hole. Same thing on these ones and then more gems or something down here or just sculpted details. I'm sure a lot of the really intricate stuff will be decided as I'm sculpting it. There could be bows at the top and bottom. Or wait, if this one's gonna have the ribbons coming this way, this one could be a bow going the reverse way with the ribbons coming up like this. Okay, yeah, so there could be that lace pattern drawn here. 
but then I kind of want more sculpted elements around it like could be I don't know I could try to sculpt little flowers just little roses <laughs> um, yeah I mean it wouldn't be too bad if I cut the petals and then stick them all together it might not be too bad like little flowers around here the biggest ones can be right beside the ribbons and then get smaller I can have just little like okay let's say we have the flower I can have little bead type things around it this is just a very quick hideous rose you know there can well first of all there could be a little leaf or something this little balls that I paint various colors <laughs> just try to fill the space I could have some little noodles of clay that wind like do a little fancy pattern just some kind of intricate pattern I might actually look up some ideas for that right now I just want this fully planned so I know what I'm doing going into this I mean yeah it wouldn't be quite like this if it's something on the side I'd have to flatten it out a bit but just something kind of detailed or interesting like these types of shapes bows roses lace crowns all the stuff I love <laughs> Okay, so let me just start, start trying to draw this up here. I think it's time to transfer this to the big one because this is just turning into a bunch of scribbles down here. I'm actually drawing this slightly higher <laughs> than that was, but I just feel like this is a good spot actually. Head sort of smack dab in the middle, which normally is too low for a portrait, but since we're gonna focus a lot on the crown and whatnot, they can put it there. I just want this to be something I put a lot of effort into and really take the time to add a lot of detail. Like I'm not just thinking, okay, what's something quick I can do for a video? More like, what is something I would love to have displayed in my room? Yeah, the neck could sort of just fade into the background. She could even have a little bit of a collar. I just don't want to have the full, you know, upper body area. I want it just like the head is poking through the wood. A collar is a nice way to just finish it off. Smile or no smile? She could have just like a slight smile. Maybe mouth just slightly open. Cause then I can sculpt some depth between the lips. You know what, I don't want the collar. It changed my mind. <laughs> I would love some little tiny false lashes for this. <laughs> Maybe that's something I can order. Cause that'd be one of the last steps for this would be adding the lashes. So it'd probably be time. I could have some real stones on her ears for earrings. I don't know exactly what I have. So I'll just draw something in. I don't know what sizes I have. I have lots of beads and stuff too though. I can take a peek at. I want a center part. Tuck behind the ears, I think. <laughs> if her neck just kind of disappears, what am I doing with the hair? If it's long hair, or like long-ish, where is it going? Does it kind of just spread off to the side? Like, do we see both ends here? It could be more 3D by the head and then sort of flatten into the wood at the bottom. It's so weird trying to think in 3D for this. <laughs> I'm sure there are some things I won't figure out till I've actually started, but I'm trying to figure out as much of it as I can ahead of time. <laughs> There could even be gemstones in the hair. I mean, I don't know how crazy I'm gonna get with the gemstones, but you know what? Let me just take a peek at what I have for gemstones. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring some stuff up. Okay, these are the ones I have for nail art supplies. I have little silver gems. 
and a bunch of them. <laughs> and then here are some different colored ones. And then I have these, which are kind of like little confettis. So those could be used as well. And speaking of confetti, I have this here. They're little yellow flowery shapes, almost like really puffy stars. Look how cute. And I also have these little seed beads. I mostly have the turquoise color, this pink, and these. These suit more what I was thinking for the color scheme for this. I mean, this pink would be usable too, maybe. Well, together they're weird, I don't know. We'll figure that out. And then I have some bigger beads. Some of these could be glued on in place of sculpting little balls, but I don't know. Oh, and there's other little small pink ones in there too. A couple different sizes. So I have options. So now for these beads slash balls of clay, whatever they end up being, <laughs> I, I'm going to be sticking them probably like tucked in areas too. It's kind of hard to fully realize it in 2D, but I'm assuming there would be more up in here and all over. It's crazy how everything just starts to fall in place. Like, <laughs> went from earlier today not really knowing what this would look like, and then as soon as one idea hits, another pops up, and yeah. You know, I'm just gonna color over this. This will be easier. Instead of trying to go around the gemstones, just color right over them. Now I want there to be a lot of warmth in this, like nice rosiness to the ears and like the nose and cheeks, all that. Even the eyelids could be a little pinky. Gold crown, obviously. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna grab a slightly more yellowy color just to help this out a bit. And you know what, I could even just go in with this. Right now, this gold Posca. Maybe a thicker one. Cover some more area, yeah. So this would all be gold. I don't want to cover up all the detail I drew. <laughs> but I have the reference for that, so that's fine. This would maybe be pink in here. Ooh, I don't know if I like that pink, but <laughs> just for the planning. <laughs> I might want some kind of detail on the bow, like the way it's painted, or I don't know. Even this background pink, it could have blobs, like almost like a marble texture of different pinks. Like some areas could have a slightly darker pink, and they just sort of fade into each other just so it's not flat color, you know, just something a little more interesting. And then yeah, maybe some glitter or something on there. Everything's so reflective. <laughs> okay, this would actually be a bit darker. Right now it's kind of blending with the pink. It's not gonna be that light. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The bow would probably be a bit darker than the background. <laughs> this is just so messy looking. <laughs> 
probably also use pink for the outer strip. And maybe the roses could be a light cream color. Black could even be cute because the hair is black, so if we could incorporate black elsewhere, either for the roses or the center of these gems. And then in that case, I might wanna make these ones black too. And of course, those beads everywhere, some will be gold, some will be pink, some will be white. There's the cream colored ones there too. And I'm gonna go in and just render the face a little bit more because I just have the urge to, <laughs> I just need to. <laughs> So here's the rough idea of how it will look. Again, adding more little details. I kind of colored over some of the little dots and stuff, but a lot of the little beads and circles and stuff will just be winged. So I'll just wing it. I'll just stick it where I think it looks good. But I've got the basic plan figured out. It needs more dark areas, but at the same time, I didn't quite, you know, I, I kind of just quickly scribbled in color for the planning. So. We'll see. I, I need to add just more like bees and things like there'll be more. There'll be more like more little black dots and stuff just to tie it all together. I could actually throw some of those in right now. You know, it'll I'll just try to be really excessive with the detail until I get sick of it. <laughs> and the pinks will be more noticeable too. the backgrounds kind of meh right now. It, it'll look good. I, I, I'm confident it'll look pretty good in sculpture form. Because I'll sculpt it with the clay and then I will paint it after with acrylic paint. I'll probably also go a little less orangey with the skin tone, try to keep it a little more neutral. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm so excited to start this now. Oh my god. I'm trying to prop it up so I have less glare on everything, but it's kind of hard, especially with the Posca pens. <laughs> okay, I just can't help myself. I gotta go in with more pink right now. I just... Bailey, this is not supposed to be a finished illustration. It's not supposed to be polished. It's just a plan. But I can't help myself. Okay, stopping now. Stopping. <laughs> I now have to edit this video, so I can't film anything else for today. But we do need to do the cat shame calendar, so let's get that in. For Wednesday, November 11th, I bring them dead roaches as gifts. <laughs> Look at the cute face, though. So baby. All right, it's time to edit. So thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget about that Skillshare offer. The link is in the description for your first two months for free. Thank you, and see you in the next video. She just missed her mommy. She missed her mommy so much. She needs lots of attention and pets now. Yes, she do. Come over here. I'm sorry, Kiki. You stay back here, okay? Don't cross this line. Don't cross this line. <laughs> She's like, why, mommy, why?